garbage. Halloween is just around the corner, and the only thing that this girl right here loves more than Halloween is animals. I'm a raccoon. Apparently, it's only socially acceptable to dress up like an animal for Halloween. So now's our chance. I teamed up with the cool people from the Cricut Mini, and I designed some modern, geometric, Charlie Harper-inspired animal masks that we can wear this Halloween, or anytime we feel like being an animal, alone, in our apartment, for funsies. To create your mask, you'll need the Cricut Mini. Follow the easy peasy steps in your manual. First, plug it in. Then add the blade by unscrewing the lever, placing it inside, and screwing it in again. Take your Cricut mat. It is sticky on one side to keep your paper in place. Add a light piece of cardstock paper, then push the arrow button and gently feed it into your machine. Open the Cricut Craft Room and download the software to your computer. You can find the direct link to the masks in the description below. With your Cricut and computer connected with the USB provided, choose the first layer and make it the size you want in your grid. You can manipulate the shape and size by clicking on the arrows indicating as such. Click the cut button and make sure your settings are correct, like the blade depth and pressure, and cut that puppy or tiger out. Print the second and third layers as well, making sure each layer is the same height and width as the others. You're going to carefully remove them from the sticky mat. The stickiness also helps keep track of all your little pieces of paper, which is quite helpful. Take your base layer and add the second layer on top using a glue stick or a spray adhesive. Then add the additional layers as well. I prefer using spray adhesive for the big sheets and a tiny glue stick for the detailed areas. The third and top layer have some really finite dots and lines to create a more linear geometric look to the animals. For the most precise mask, add them with Cricut gel pens just like this. Use a ruler to keep your lines straight and refer to my original designs to guide you for this. Once fully constructed, you'll need to affix them to your face. I like the old fashioned dowel approach. I spray painted my dowels gold and affix them to the back with a hot glue gun. And voila, you are an animal. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next Mac video. Bye. I'm out of your face. I don't know. It's just fun to wear masks and dance in masks. It's fun.